Hi, I'm Kristen Bird for Red Carpet Report, and we are here for day two of the Creative Arts Emmys. So, congratulations. Thank you, of course. I know. Game of Thrones wrapping up the series. This is kind of a wonderful little button, isn't it? It is, it is. It is sad it's over, but at the same time. What are you going to miss most about working on this series? I think the scope and the level of craft and also the emotional connection everyone has with it. Like on the street, you walk and you tell people. And it's amazing. You don't see that often. You don't see that level of anticipation, level of talk and level of so. Yeah, it's a pop culture phenomenon. And you know, you hope you have one of those in your career. And when you do get there, you're like, this is kind of cool. Absolutely. Look, we have worked uh, Scanline Digital FS. We have worked on really big, big, big feature films. But this was different. This was so different. Like everyone, everyone was so thrilled. To, to, to work on it. We had two group of people interested. One of them were the ones who really wanted to work on it, and the other team that didn't want to work on it because they didn't want to get any spoilers. Oh, I love that, because they had read the series, I'm sure. Right, yeah. Um, in terms of scope, and this is probably kind of interesting, because you said we had worked on feature films, how does Game of Thrones compare? Similar? It compares in a way that there is absolutely no difference between what we did for Game of Thrones season eight and let's say what we would do for an amazing Marvel show, you know? So there is absolutely no difference in terms of level of quality, technology. It, it goes through the exact same process, if not more. <laughs> so, yeah. That's kind of amazing when you think about that. that you know, that much precision was, was put into the entire series. Well, congratulations. We're wishing you the best. Go get your Emmy. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. Do it, yes. Fingers crossed. You bet. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and in the comments below, let us know what your favorite television moment was this year.